Objective interpret fraction as division. Let's take five crackers and share them equally with two people. Let's draw a picture to show what we mean. We have five crackers. And we're sharing them with two people. How can I share it with those two people? So I have to separate those five crackers into two groups. Well, each person can have two crackers, except I'm still left with one more cracker which I can go ahead and divide into two parts there so that each person receives another half. So those five crackers amongst two people, each person receives two and a half crackers. Now as a division expression, what I'm doing here is this is five divided by two. That's a division expression. Remember, I can write that as 5 over 2. And that does equal, as I just showed you, 2 and 1 half. Another question for you. How many halves are in 2 and 1 half? Well, let's see. Looking at my picture, it looks like one, two, three, four, five halves are in two and one half. Let's think of another problem. Ten crackers with three people. Ten crackers with three people as a division expression is ten divided by three. Now, in some instances, we can actually express this ten of holes, so we're drawing it as thirds. So each hole is equal to three-thirds. Now, in that case, then, ten holes is equal to how many thirds? Right. It'll be thirty-thirds, and we're dividing it with, by three this time because there were three people. Let me finish drawing that out. As you can see, three, six, nine, twelve, fifteen thirds, eighteen, twenty-one, twenty-four, twenty-seven, thirty thirds. And this time I'm dividing it into three parts or three groups. So there's one group, there's two groups, there's three groups. Oh no, looks like I have one left over. Fortunately, it is divided into thirds, so there would just be one more in each, one more third, that is, in each of those groups. So that 30 thirds divided by 3 is equal to 10 thirds in each of those groups. Count them up. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10 thirds. So then I know that the case to write out 10 thirds is 10 over 3, 10 thirds. 10 divided by 3 is equal to 30 thirds. Divided by 3 equals 10 thirds. Just counted that up. 30 divided by 3 is also 10, and I expressed that as 10 thirds there. Remember, this 10 thirds there is an improper fraction. But I have expressed this division then as a fraction. Okay, your turn to try. 
draw a picture to represent seven cookies being shared equally with two children. Also write an equation to express your answer as a fraction. Seven, what two? Ideally, you should have come up with seven divided by two. You think about that, that's seven divided by two. Two goes into seven three whole times with that remainder of one. If we could divide that, we would divide it into a half. Your picture representation, seven cookies, you might have just divided them all into half right away. And then so that we'd have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One person would receive seven halves, and the other person would also receive seven halves. You also might have grouped it as before, where it is that first person would receive one, two, three cookies. Second person would also receive three cookies, and then we are only at six cookies so far. And then so each of the people would still have to receive that other half of the cookie that is not split up yet. So you can see, one half, two halves, three halves, four halves, five halves, six halves. Six halves also is equal to three wholes. So even if we did divide these up further, we would have still the same amount of cookies. So that, that's a solution there. And this here is an equation that I could write out. 7 divided by 2 equals 14 halves. That's the total amount of halves that I had divided into two parts, where it is that each of those people would receive 7 halves. Let's take a look at this again with just using numbers. This is 5 divided by 8 equaling what? As a fraction. We're dividing by 8, so that'll be the denominator. And we're taking 5, putting that in the numerator. 5 divided by 8 is equal to 5 eighths. Just as 3 divided by 4 is equal to what? Right, 3 over 4, or 3 fourths. Can you do that last one? As a fraction, it is 6 over 3. We can also read this as 5 over 8, which is 5 eighths. Or 5 eighths, like this here. We can read this as 3, 3 what? Force. And this 6 divided by 3 is 6 thirds. Looking at this another way, I have 5 ninths. This is that fraction now. And I should be thinking of the division expression 5, what, 9? Right, divided by 9. 8 halves, that's 8 divided by, right, 2. And 9 thirds, that would be 9 divided by 3. Okay, it's your turn again. Can you express these fractions?
as division problems. Write a noun and solve them. There's three of them. Did you write 3 divided by 5? If you thought of that as 3 fifths as well, that's 6 divided by 9, and that's 7 divided by 3. Your turn again. Copy down these division expressions and rewrite them as fractions. 9 divided by 4 is equal to 9 over 4. That's also 9 fourths. 8 divided by 3. And then we have 3 divided by 7, which would be 3 over 7. That's 3 sevenths. Read them with me. 9 divided by 4 is equal to 9 fourths. 8 divided by 3 is equal to 8 thirds. 3 divided by 7 is equal to 3 sevenths. So that's division and relating them back to fractions, and fractions relating back to division as well.